Tommy from some unknown location writes to me. He says, hey, Paul, I have my setup in the living room. Okay, that sounds like most of us. The speakers are placed near the wall with the TV in the middle. Hmm. Oh, uh, the middle of the wall. Okay. I, uh, sorry, Tommy. I'm picturing <laughs> this big room with the TV right in the middle. And, uh, who knows? Um, for the setup with very limited choice of placement, Dirac Live did a huge difference and made all of it sound great. I don't have a designated music room, and so I want to know why do you continue to trash Dirac Live? Woo! Okay. Well, first off, let let's let's be um, let's be clear. I hope I don't come across trashing Dirac Live. I probably should come across as trashing the idea of digital room correction for anything other than bass in a two-channel high-end audio system. I just don't like it. I don't think it works very well. You have to really, to make it effective, you're going to hold your head in a vice kind of thing. It's, it's not very wide. And I think that unless you have an all digital system, which most of us don't, that you're sacrificing more than you're gaining. And so that's why I've always trashed the idea of using DSP to correct the system's uh, problems and the room's problems. So that's one of the reasons I wrote the book, The Audiophile's Guide. I wrote it because I think a much better solution for those that can is setup, doing the room things to the room that make it all work. Now, Tommy's writing to me and he says, I don't have a choice. My thing is where it is. I can't move it. So my only solution is Dirac Live. Go for it. I think that's awesome. Not everybody has a choice. And I, I get that. I totally get that. I talk in generalities that are based on my own experience having a room, having, a, you know, at, at, at my home, I have, you know, we've got a decent sized living room. I have a TV in the center, but we're able to move around a little bit and we're able through very minimal setup to get it to sound pretty darn good. And I would never use Dirac Live. Okay, in a two channel high end audio system. Now, when it comes to home theater, that's what I use. I use Dirac. I think Dirac is great. The Emotiva system that I have, the Morant system that I had before in my home theater, first thing I do. And part of the reason is I, everything I do in that home theater starts out digitally. There is no analog in that system. I get my uh, TV programs digitally, whether it comes through a um, Blu-ray disc or streaming, I mean, pretty much. I, I've got an Apple TV, a 4K Apple TV, and I stream everything digitally. And heck yeah, it's a 12.1 Dolby Atmos system, and Dirac is amazing. I love it. I would never trash it for my home theater. For my home two-channel audio system, <laughs> nah, nope. Be much better off going out and grabbing a copy of the audio files guide and working on setup if you can. And if you can't, sorry. Okay. Thanks. Bye.